Well, it may end up costing double to save one of DeKalb County's oldest schools. Druid Hills High School is crumbling, and officials, they, they want to fix it. Atlanta News First Bridget Spencer is live from the school tonight. And Bridget, this could cost $100 million? Sean, that initial budget was set at about $50 million, but we're learning tonight that it's going to cost a lot more money to modernize this school. But the parents I'm speaking with are saying it's long overdue. Michael Roper knew for a long time what he wanted to do. I joined band in sixth grade after the movie Drumline came out. Now, in a full circle moment in his life, he can say he has the job of his dreams, directing the band at Druid Hills High School. I graduated 2011 from this school. It's, it's really surreal. The campus, built in 1927, is full of character, but some feel it's time for an upgrade, especially after students shared this video on social media highlighting some dilapidated conditions. But it's time for that rebuild. <laughs> Monday, the DeKalb School District hosted its second meeting for parents and the community to learn more about the modernization project. The school board approved it originally for $50 million, but now the price tag may be between 80 to 100 million. We also have cost escalations in the last two years for construction. Chief Operations Officer Eric Hofstetter says parts of the campus are not even up to today's code. He hopes to modernize the campus while also preserving its charm. To take the existing high school, modernize it, all right, and try to make it as contemporary as possible. Monday's meeting was a chance for parents to prioritize what's important for them. How important is it to having a large gym? How important is it to have an auditorium? And where does that rank on your list? Safety is top of mind. One of the scariest things is that 11 foot driveway to the back and the idea that fire engines can't get back there. But also making sure the campus can be enjoyed by generations to come. That's what I want them to see is that we're taking care of what's coming our way and that it's a family. And if you did not get a chance to attend tonight's meeting, you will have another chance to weigh in on November 18th right here at the school at 6 o'clock. We're live in DeKalb County, Bridget Spencer, Atlanta News First.